Hello everyone, um, my name is Lillian, uh, so you can call me Lillian or Funny Face or whatever you like, um, or Lillian Funny Face. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to Wendy for uh, setting up this collaboration thing and uh, for letting me be part of it, it's really cool and fun. Um, so we're going to do this 13 questions tag. Uh, number one, what do you order at Starbucks? Uh, I don't tend to go to places like that very often. Um, I don't really drink coffee or tea or anything. Yeah, I will order the most sugary, ridiculous, child-friendly thing possible, which is usually either hot chocolate or one of those chocolate cream icy things. Uh, and I always have it with whipped cream just to pile on more calories. Uh, number two, uh, one thing in your closet you can't live without. Out. Um, dresses. I love dresses. Much prefer them to uh, separate. Yeah, I think it, it's nice and easy to wear a dress as well because you don't have to worry so much about what goes with it. Um, and they're pretty. Number three. Uh, what's one thing that most people probably wouldn't know about you? I'm going to give two answers for this actually, even though it specifically says one thing. Um, and that's because if you read uh, my blog, or you know me in real life, or uh, you've talked to me through Twitter, then you probably will know this. But it's something very few people can guess, sort of from looking at me, or if I'm um, looking at my blog, if I haven't spoken about it specifically, or that sort of thing. And that is that I am uh, incredibly shy. I have social anxiety disorder. Uh, and the other one for people who do know that is that I would love to be a puppeteer. I love puppets, um, got a weird obsession with them. I've made my own <laughs> puppets a few times, but I'm not really very good at manipulating them yet. So I'd love to learn how to do that, and to do it as a living would be fantastic. Uh, number four, name one thing that you want to do before you die. Uh, <laughs> mine is silly. <laughs> what I'd like to do is I would like to perfect a magic trick and actually be able to fool people with it. Uh, I'm obsessed with magic and magicians, um, but I'm, I'm not very good at kind of manipulating uh, objects with my hands and you have to be able to do that to do sleight of hand well. Uh, I can do two magic tricks but I'm really bad at them, so yeah, I'd love to be able to actually fool someone. Uh, number five, what's one food that you cannot live without? Again, I'm going to cheat and do two, because uh, the, the one I actually probably couldn't live without is pasta. Uh, I'm a vegetarian and a very fussy eater, and pasta makes up the bulk of my diet. The other one uh, would be, I could, you know, in theory I could live without this, but I wouldn't be very happy, it's ice cream. I adore ice cream, it's my favourite food ever. I could eat it all day, but I would be very sick. <laughs> Number six. What co quote or phrase do you live your life by? two that I think are are just good to remember. From one from uh, Bill and Ted, be excellent to each other. And uh, the other is my favourite magician, David Devont, who used to say that his magic was all done by kindness. I think those are just two, uh, two good ways to treat everyone around you. Uh, number eight. What's your number one most listened to song on iTunes? Um, I looked this up. <laughs> Um, it is uh, Jet Set Junta by the Monochrome Set. Uh, the Monochrome Set are a sort of... They were an 80s new wave band, but they sound quite sort of 60s. They were a retro for the time, even. But uh, I don't tend to listen to iTunes that much. I mainly, if I want to listen to music, I'll listen to it through my iPod. Uh, and I can't tell you what's my number one most played song on that, because I can't work out how <laughs> work it out. Um, other bands I like, my favourite band ever is Sparks. I could go on for hours about why I love Sparks, so uh, I won't, but just, they're amazing. Um, my second favourite band are David Devont and his Spirit Wife, who are a great um, sort of art Brit poppy band from the 90s, and they're still going, and they're lovely people, and they're sort of slightly Bowie-esque, um, fun pop, but with kind of arty lyrics, and uh, originally they had this conceit um, where they would, they're, they're called David Devon and Spirit Wife because, uh, again, they love magic. Um, and the, the singer Mikey used to 
sort of pretend that he was he his name in the band is the vessel and he would pretend that <laughs> oh god this all sounds so poncy <laughs> he would pretend that he's been possessed by uh, the spirit of David Devont and they had lots of uh, sort of props on the stage like they used to summon up the spirit wife who was actually uh, a nighty on a stick uh, they used to have these oh god it sounds so poncy but I love it they used to have these people called spectral roadies who uh, who kind of they were members of the band but they didn't play instruments they would just come on stage and kind of do little antics and shticks and things um, it sounds awful but they're great and I love them and they've got beautiful quiffs and lurex jumpsuits and uh, frilly shirts and oh I just think they're fab uh, oh I forgot one <laughs> oh no number seven going back what do you like and dislike about the YouTube community uh, what I like I like the sense of connection you get I love being able to um, communicate with people uh, I do find making videos very scary and <laughs> stressful actually but it's really nice when that's done when people uh, comment on it and stuff. I, 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 you know, I don't even mind negative comments that much because I usually find them funny. Um, and uh, what I dislike, my the thing I actually dislike the most about uh, YouTube is that um, I subscribe to a lot of people and I can never keep up with my subscriptions. I have no idea. Uh, you know, I just don't have the time, and then I feel guilty and it's rubbish because I want to be watching them, but I just don't have the time. Number nine. What kind of style would you define yourself as having? Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't really. I think I was trying to think of how to explain my style before, and I think the closest you get is if a clown, a scarecrow, and an 80s pop star all somehow had a baby together, I would be the result. Uh, number 10, favourite number. Don't really have one. I prefer odd numbers to even numbers, don't know why, just always have done. Uh, and I, I like the number 13. I think that started as when I was young. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like the number 13 because, because you know, man, it's a, it's unlucky and people don't like it. Yeah, I'm so cool. But now, uh, you know, I don't think that at all anymore. And yeah, that's embarrassing and lame. But I just still, I just think it's quite a nice number. Don't know why. Uh, Eleven two hobbies. Uh, I, I sew. I make my own clothes sometimes. The other um, hobby I like is cooking or baking. I make most of the food in my house um, and I love baking things like meringues are probably my favourite uh, and cakes and anything like that. I just find it really fun and therapeutic. Uh, Twelve two pet peeves. Uh, <laughs> one uh, flaky people by which I mean if you've got plans with someone and then they fall through at the last moment and they don't really give you time to make other plans or if you're trying to get in contact with someone and they won't reply um, I find that very irritating because I'm so shy getting in touch with someone is very uh, stressful for me or sort of if I want to go out uh, I need to know what's happening beforehand so I can work myself up to it and then if if that person sort of won't get back in touch I find it very upsetting and sometimes I start panicking like oh they don't like me and um, the other one is people who have uh, who touch you I I don't really like being touched by people I don't know and I think it's some people kind of think that they're allowed to come up if you look a bit odd uh, like my hair's not as bad now but I used to have it when it is bleached blonde and it used to be out to about here and people would often ask me if it was a wig and I would say no, and then people would just pull my hair, which is, you know, not in, only incredibly rude and uh, bad for personal boundaries, but it's a real act of aggression, and I've had uh, other various things like that, and it drives me insane, like how you can think. But just, you know, people who think that it's alright to shout things at you on stuff I don't like, but when it comes to the touching, it's just, no. <laughs> uh, 13. Guilty pleasure. Squeezing spots. I know it's disgusting and it's bad for your skin and it's horrible but I just love doing it it's so satisfying and I, I know it's gross it's really gross but it's just there's something compelling when I've got a big spot I just I need to give a good old squeeze I can't help it <laughs> so um that's all the questions thank you very much for watching and I hope everyone enjoys these videos and uh, go makeup heroes unite I have to go now.